Yo, what's up guys? My name is Sipo Mata, aka The Zoom Machine. Today guys, we are unboxing our new 32 inch TV guys. So whatever you see in the guys, please do click that subscribe button guys. Leave a like, do a share guys, leave those comments below. And let's get this video started, yeah! This could be us, so back to what I was saying. This could be us. So guys, today we got a 32 inch and guys, we're gonna be unboxing it with you guys. Hopefully I got a knife to open all of these things up here. What's happening? So firstly, before we unbox anything guys, I'm gonna be just reading out all of the specs and stuff and wishy wishy explosion stuff. So first thing, first thing that we have to say that the TV resolution is 1066 times 6, 768. That's a 32 inch as a resolution. Expect ratio is 16.9. Uh, I think you, for those who care about it, we know it. Brightness is 200 units. Uh, chicken print contrast is 1200 uh, semicolon one. I don't even have a clue. Okay, response time is nine milliseconds and maximum output is two times six watts. And some key features, it has shine lock, sleep timer, digital DVD, uh, DVB, T2 and all that one, on OSD uh, menu English and CEC function. I don't have a clue what that knows, but this is what it has inside. And other stuff is terminal specification. Okay, not like terminal specification, like your RF input uh, 775 OMH, co share <laughs> one. And uh, composition video input, there's only one video input, two HDMI input. SDP FI output, I think that's one of them, and USML multimeter one spot for that, and liner out, uh, it's a line out, three millimeter line out, there's only one. Updating interface, there's also a USB on it, and power specification, uh, basically AC 100 200 volts or 50 to 60 hertz. Uh, basically, that's uh, the refresh rates of the TV guys, uh, 50, 60, 60 hertz, you know? and power consumption is 60 watts. So it's just charged 60 watts and stands by 0 0.5 watts when it's on standby. Right? That's how much it charges. Uh, dimensions, as you heard, that's 32 inch. But if you want more details, I'll leave them in the description, guys. There's too many numbers in there if you want to see all the dimensions and stuff. And yes, uh, it has weights and all of that. Thing. Okay, so. Without wasting any time, guys, I'm down to the specs of it. Hopefully, we have more questions. Have more questions? Leave the comment, guys. And right now, let's open the TV and see what it is. For me, uh, since I'm looking at the box, and the box looks small, I'm, all, I'm a bit confused about it. I'm like, is this a day to enjoy or are you just saving us cupboards or something? Let's see how it is. Okay, so remember, guys, we're still on no shading, so. We will test the TV in the future, but now we have to open and see how it looks like. Then we look at it in the future again. <laughs> okay, I'm just opening up. Uh, there's too many tapes here. Sadly, I don't have a, another camera taking a picture of me. Just listening to the, the box here. Hopefully, I don't damage anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it looks like okay. It looks like I got everything open, guys. So uh, I'm gonna put the TV down so I can pull everything safely. So let me just do that. Oh, actually, I can put it here. And first thing we have here, uh, gosh, I was expecting to put these small things, but okay, these are TV stands, guys. These are the TV stands, and uh, these are the small stands for your TV if you're gonna put it on a desk. It's gonna sit like this, and. Yeah, that's how it's going to sit like. These are the small stands that you get from, from the box. Literally the first thing that you get, guys. Right? <laughs> okay, number two, uh, what else we can pull? Okay, we're pulling out the yellow thing, guys. Okay, I'm working with half a screen here. What's going on? <laughs> okay, uh, let's put the team. Uh, the box down, guys. Okay, number two, what we're getting from number two? Uh, basically, it's a screen itself. Let me put the screen here. We're gonna talk about it a bit later. I just want to get the small stuff quickly before we even look at the actual screen TV. And 
As you know guys, we've got a remote and I don't know if it comes with batteries guys, this is a remote guys. And what else we have here? Looks like we have extra stuff. Okay, we have uh, some screws here. I think the screws are for the stands to put your teeth. You understand? They are the screws guys, they will supply us with screws and the brand new. Yeah, brand new uh, TV remote guys. And the warranty, manual, the I'll call this one. Operating system instruction and stuff. Yeah, this is your operating system instruction. And it's called a GT Sweep TV. It's LED TV, LED TV, guys. So, yeah. And uh, what else you get? It looks like that's it. Uh, I don't want to put the, the last bits. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else in there. And now let's open the actual TV. I, I might have to need to, to connect it with you in front of you or something like that. Okay. Hopefully everything is still stable and guys sadly we're still on low shading so we will play the TV in the future but I want to show you how it looks like. Here's a bathroom but ugh, this is how it looks like guys and uh, yeah there's a TV guys brand new smell mm. I like it this man yeah and it's also tells you power saving TV smart image saving TV guys so this one is a very smart and it has a slim design. Slim design. A white color range enhancement. I can't wait to see these colors, guys. And yeah, GT Swift. Yeah, yeah, it is GT Swift, guys. And it has buttons at the bottom here, yes, 14 on, I guess. And also controlling the menu because I think this thing here can go left and right, this button at the bottom. So I can't wait to turn it on and test it. And these spots, I think are these are the ones that you're gonna be connecting the I think they, they, this thing here, uh, for example, uh, yeah, yeah, there it is, yeah, okay, I don't have a screwdriver or anything like that, but that's how we're going to be doing it. Ooh, there it is, guys, so basically you're going to be connecting in there and you're going to be screwing it for this two like that. I don't know if you can see how it's going to look like, but that's how it's going to look like. So that's me going to be doing right now, I'm going to be just connecting those two things. And yeah, hopefully this video we can fast forward to the future. And guys, 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 I have one more thing to do with you. Woo! <laughs> Brand new TV. Come on, you're not break anything. <laughs> so I'm taking this. Oh, okay. You're gonna be a uh, right thing here. I'm hoping that's how it works. Right thing. Yes, you are right there. The other one is the wrong thing. Okay, uh, right thing. Can we screw you in? Whoa. Okay. Why is it so stuck here? Okay. This one feels longer. I do not know why. Okay, let's see. Can this one fit? No, it cannot fit. Okay, so we start with the normal things, I guess. Normal things in life. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna lock it 100% yet, guys. We just gonna lock a few things, I guess, so that it can just stand. The TV can stand on its own. And I don't have a screwdriver here, that's a bit sad. But I'm using a knife, so hopefully this knife does not damage the stand. Okay. Looks like we are moving quite a bit, guys. Yeah. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. Um. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, guys, I almost dropped everything. Okay. This is a dangerous work, guys. This is dangerous work. I might need to do it 
a bit on my knees, between my legs there. <laughs> and we'll be closing a few moments. Okay, we got our, our stems, guys. We got our stems connected, there they are. And right now, let's put it down somewhere here. Ooh. Guys, there is the TV connected smoothly, guys. As you can see, that's a GT TV, guys. Sorry about being dark, guys. We are on low shading. That's how slim it is, guys. And we will test it on when we have electricity. But it does use a, a twin plug here. So there it is, guys. So we'll connect that with that. Yeah, that's. But again, guys, otherwise we're gonna test it. Let's go to the future guys, for testing. Future! Yo guys, we are here in the testing in the future guys where we have no more low shading guys. And yeah, there's a GT guys and we have to connect it guys to our socket. So I'm gonna drop the cable behind the desk here because the plugs are behind here. That's the cool thing about the setup I have here guys. And Underneath here, we're gonna connect uh, this guy to that socket, I guess. Yeah, to the plug and boom. And you take it on. And boom. There's a red light in there. I don't know what it means, but let's press the red light. Boom. There it is, guys. GT Swift, guys. And right now, it's gonna show just a blue line. We don't have anything connected to the TV, so let's find something to connect quickly and come back to you. So I'm gonna just pause everything here and come back when you connected something on it. So we're gonna bring up the laptop here and connect the HDMI cable on it quickly. Let's do that. Okay, guys, uh, this is how the TV looks like. We're just playing a show on Netflix right now. I just connected my PC. It's under the, 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 the table, and that's how it looks like, guys, when it's connected. And I did tell you guys about the buttons behind the back here. These are the ones that you use, or I used to, to, to choose which uh, source it was. And yeah, it's connecting well, guys. That's how it looks like in the future when you have internet. And look how beautiful it is, guys. So I like the colors. And you can see, guys, from the video, right? Like, this is Netflix playing, and it looks clean, guys. That looks clean. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Let's go back to the video, guys. But I like it, guys. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm playing a random show, guys. I don't know what the name of this show is. Anyway, that's how it looks like, guys. And Swift GT 32 inch. Let's go. Yo, guys, if you enjoy what you're watching, guys, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. Give a like and leave those comments below if you want to ask a questions and you want to buy this item, guys. It's on the description, the link of this item, guys. This TV, you know. Otherwise, for me, it's a machine, guys, from what I can say for conclusion is that the TV fits lighter and when you touch it, it is very light <laughs> and slim also and still looks good, I can tell you. It doesn't give me any disappointments or anything like that. So for me, it's 32 inch, but well, I bought it to just play around with it, about use it for gaming and stuff and also use it for TV. So for that reason, it's good enough for me. Power saving wise, I don't know how to calculate power that is good or not. But at least it has a label to say power saving because I don't want to spend a lot of power on TV. Otherwise, me and machine guys, I'll see you next time where we unbox, review, or look at other things, guys. Today we're just doing unboxing a lot. Yeah. Otherwise, see you guys later and we'll speak about the TV on the charts, guys. And me and machine sign out. Come back. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. Could be us.